Yeah, we're looking for those boys here. So let's... We have a big rocket. Is that all I got, is two of those boys? Oh, those are unfortunate bad shots. Hello again, minions! It's Wheezy. Today, I'm back in DCS. I've been working on some training with the SU-25 and learning a lot about the weapon systems and trying to kind of play a couple of like the example missions. What I thought I'd bring you along with today, since in the last video I kind of did some introductory going through a module of using like the TV guided missiles, I've got experience with the training modules for all the different all the different weapon systems on the SU-25. Um, so there are some missions here that you can select from with different practices for either just the individual weapon systems or like some example missions. Uh, so this first one is going to be cannon and rocket practice. So our loadout here is going to be 240 millimeter unguided rockets, B8, M1 pods, are those, yeah, more unguided rockets. So we got some 240 millimeters, 80 millimeters and smaller rockets, 122 unguided rockets, 60, so it's going to give us a pair of infrared anti-air missiles and is that a 57 millimeter unguided rockets okay so a bunch of rocket pods uh, of various sizes and four m818s and four m109s military vehicles of some kind i'm assuming i am not an expert on any of these things as you can see uh so here you can see the route that's kind of set out take off locate ground targets around waypoint three destroy them come back to the airfield so uh, that's what we're going to try and do. So right now, I'll switch back to takeoff mode. So this is navigation mode. Uh, set to waypoint zero. This is going to be takeoff. So go full throttle. Just pull her off the ground. Uh, for the SU-25, this is right around 300 knots takeoff speed. So I'll try and just keep her reasonably straight down the runway with the rudder. I keep bumping my microphone with my throttle hand when we get close to 300 knots. Start pulling back on that throttle to take off. And get headed to the objective. So now it's transitioned us to waypoint one. And take off. Pull up my gear. Bring flaps up to flight. That's. Are they still transitioning? There we go. Flaps up. Now, if you see the waypoint uh, navigator mode, this circle on my HUD here, this is guiding me on the route it wants me to take to get to waypoint one, which is currently 14.2 kilometers away and growing. So I'm circling around back towards it. Down in my instrument panel, I've got my angle of attack indicator, uh, as well as um, the yellow lines on that that correspond to what I'm seeing in my HUD as far as being on my waypoint direction heading. My airspeed indicator to the left of that with the little yellow dial showing me that I'm actually a little under speed versus where it wants me to be. Well, significantly under speed for where it wants me to be for this. And then underneath the angle of attack indicator uh, is essentially the navigation compass where there's the little line with the tiny diamond on it which is the direct line pointing at um, my objective at waypoint one. There's the kind of road looking double line which is the direction of the actual uh, heading it wants me to be taking on it. So you see that the navigation is actually trying to loop me around to get me in line with the desired heading towards the objective. Um, so that they're lined up. If I wanted to, even if I wasn't on route, I could basically just use that uh, small line with the diamond to navigate in a straight line directly towards uh, the objective. But here you can see it's getting me on that route, so it's lining me up. Yeah, I could navigate straight to, and I'll actually go ahead and do that. If I navigate my waypoints up, I'll just go ahead and select waypoint three. So if I wanna go straight to essentially the waypoint uh, where my targets are, you can see that that's 
30 kilometers this direction. Uh, it's still trying to navigate me to that, so if I go down to my route there, it's trying to put me on that right heading, right, as it was drawn on the map. But if I just kind of line up that line with the diamond, this is me kind of cheating my, my designated route that, that was assigned to me for this mission, uh, and basically just flying directly at the targets, because I just want to get some weapon practice, so I don't want to follow this huge circuitous route. Uh, I just want to fly straight at my targets. Got, we're getting a little nose lift here, so I'm going to trim the aircraft down so that it's not just trying to lift idly. So now I'm hands off, and it's got a little bit even down trim. Um, that's not too bad. Uh, so let's uh, navigate 17, 17 kilometers. It goes pretty fast when you're moving at 600 plus knots. Um, so these guys are actually probably not crazy far ahead of us. If I wanted to, I can switch to <laughs> air to ground mode and bring up my electro-optical sensor, my TV there. And if I want to point that, I can still see that I'm about 12 kilometers away. So it looks like 12, medium, 12 kilometers is going to be like on the far side of the water there. Uh, about 9 kilometers out now. So I don't necessarily know what my targets are. They're now 2 kilometers ahead, which means they should be like basically right in front of me. Oh, actually they're off to my right. Which means my targets might be sitting there? Is that them? Sitting on that little island? It might be. I've got the labels turned off, uh, just for it to be a little bit more of a simulator, more immersive. They're not going to just be glowing and lit up automatically like they are in a lot of other games where you just can see them highlighted. So I'm going to guess that that's them there sitting on that little, little island. So we're going to circle around, come back towards them. And actually, if I want to, I can check my map here. Oh yeah, there they are, sitting on that little island. That's them! So let's roll in hot with my... Uh, switch back to my S5s. Or in Russian, C5s. Navigate back towards that little island there. And put some rockets on it. Slow down just a little bit here. Oh yeah, I can see him. I can see him pretty clearly now. I can see clearly now. Alright, so that little pipper there is going to be where my rockets are going. Radar calculated for that. Get some good hits. I believe I've exhausted those. So now, what's the next ones we got? Those are our 57 millimeters. We got some 80 millimeters with the S8s. So let's switch over to those. So let's come around again. Do another run. I've decided I really enjoy this guy. I think I'm going to have to get a head tracker. It makes a, a world of difference from what I've seen. I haven't used one yet, but from what I've seen, being able to just like look around and and look around the aircraft. That kind of situa situational awareness is better, so here we go. Oh, okay, there we got some damage destroyed indications there. Alright. Uh, we exhausted all of those. So what do we got left? 130s and 240s. And the 130 is actually a 122 millimeter, and the 240 is a 240 millimeter. So those will be big old boys. So let's... All right, we got some smoke on those bad boys, so we'll see who's, who's left to kill. Circling back in. Okay. 
I've lost lost kind of track of them, but we're gonna see if we can come in and get this guy right here. It looks like there's a couple on that other little peninsula too. Oh yeah, those look like good hits, huh? Yeah, M818, critical damage. So it looks like we probably got two targets on that other little island too. We'll let this climb a little bit. We'll switch over to our map, take a look. So it looks like we still have one here and then we have four here. So we still have a few targets we haven't hit. All right, circle back. We're down to our 240s and our cannons. So the 240s are the big boys. So what we'll do is we'll use the big boys on that other little island. Then whatever's left, we'll see if we can clean it up with our cannons. So yeah, basically what I'm looking at is over here. Let's zoom in just a little bit. Yeah, we're looking for those boys here. So let's... We have a big rocket. Is that all I got is two of those boys? Oh, those are unfortunate bad shots. That's not great. I got uh, I got some air-to-air -air missiles left, and I've got my cannon. So we're switching to cannon here. <laughs> I get the feeling I may not get all of these before I run out of ammo. What have I got? All right, let's line up here. Woo! All right. One critical damage. One damage. Fifty percent. Okay, so it does say down there. Um, we'll look down here. You can see we got three quarters left of our cannon ammo right there. That's what that is. Lots of bullets in this bad boy. I'm also trimming. I'm also trimming up again because I've unloaded so much ordnance. My aircraft is a lot lighter. This is not an ideal angle. Let's see if we can get some altitude here and come in in a bit of a dive on this gun run. Bring my throttle down. Let's see if I can push her over. Some negative G's here. Let's see what I've got. Pull up. Did some more damage. Alright, got about half ammo left in my cannon. So they're closer to the tree line that ooh, that guy just exploded. Oh, the smoke is kind of obscuring those other targets that I want to see there. Let's see if we can just pick off this guy here. I think this is the one. The group of trucks has been destroyed. Alright. Got the trucks. Got a quarter of my gun ammo left. I'm gonna try and come in from this angle to not have the smoke obstruct those last guys. I think there's two. There's two guys left. Let's see if we can come around in a good line to clean them up. With a quarter of my gun left, it's not gonna be a lot of bullets. So we'll see what we can do. Yeah, there's two guys near the trees. So I'm gonna try and come in and get a good shot on this guy. Oh, I don't know if I got hits. <laughs> Yeah, 
and I am H3. I don't know if that means I'm out of ammo or almost out of ammo. I was taking bursts, so I don't know if I have any bullets left. It's not uh, scratches yet. That's why I'm making a bit of a hard turn here. I don't think I have much ammo left, so I'm just going to make a quick turn, see if I can get a couple more shots out. And then we'll uh, RTB. I may have turned a little too fast. I don't know if I'll get my gun down in time. Let's see. That was it. It's like three bullets left. Alright, there we go. Not too shabby. Good practice. So now what we'll do is switch over to return mode. So again, it's trying to circle us around uh, to the right heading, which with an airport is a good thing to do, I have found, because it'll actually line you up with the runway that you want. Although, as you can see, it's now taking us further away before it's bringing us closer. It also seems to be trying to navigate us into this mountain. <laughs> Alright, eventually we'll come around here. You know what, I'm just gonna... I'll let this thing try to get us back on heading once we're actually heading towards the airport. So now I'm heading us straight towards the airfield, even though we're not technically on the heading it wants. Which means if we want to line up with that, what we basically do is put the airport on our beam until the destination and the heading line up, and then turn back towards it. So I'm still 45 degrees towards it, heading closer towards it, while also slowly bringing my heading in line. Alright, so destination and heading are almost in line. Pretty good, so we're just gonna come right in towards the objective here. And it wants us to be at a lower altitude and come back down here, so. Now we'll start trying to chase our route a little bit. I swear to god, if you try and circle me around again, I'm gonna be pissed. This is the part of me that's a video gamer that struggles with the part of a simulation game that intends you to act like a real world pilot is you're supposed to follow the instruments, you're supposed to follow the goddamn route because that's what's been planned for air traffic and stuff like that. And I'm just like, I want to go to the runway and land on it. I don't, <laughs> don't want to fly where I'm supposed to to get in line for that. I just want to go straight there and land. That top left, you can see uh, that little triangle underneath my airspeed, if it's in the middle like it is now, it's showing that I'm at a constant airspeed. When it moves to the left like that, that means I'm losing airspeed, and if it moves to the right, it means I'm picking up airspeed. I'm trying to accelerate here to show. So that gives you kind of a good visual indicator of how well you're maintaining or how well you're maintaining airspeed or what your airspeed is doing as you're navigating. So there I can finally see the runway out in front of me. On the right path, going to bring my gear down. little bit over speed but honestly the way that I navigate I always tend to come in a little bit <laughs> short anyway <laughs> I'm happy with this. this is probably the smoothest I've kept in that circle on a descent <laughs> so far kind of right in the center We're pretty close here so I'm gonna go to idle throttle I'm gonna see if I can land this guy without hitting the parachute this time so let's flare before we hit too hard there we go. Still haven't touched down yet. There we go. Nice and easy touchdown. Wheel brakes. Try to use the wheel brakes without the parachute to stop me since this was a smoother landing. If I was really kind of coming in hot, I would definitely hit that parachute. I would like to make that turn right there, but since I didn't pop the parachute, I'm not slowing down that fast. And I'm getting nervously close to the end of the runway here, but I'm about below 100 knots, which means I'm going to stop pretty quickly. <sighs> oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I 
Rudder, wheel turn. Wheel turn. Wheel turn. <laughs> <laughs> I had it the whole time. <laughs> I knew it the whole time. She doesn't feel too rough, so I don't think I popped any tires or broke any gear. Go ahead and open the cockpit. Get some some fresh air. Turning feels a little sluggish, so I don't know if maybe with all of the heavy wheel braking I did, maybe I popped the front tire. Alright. Shut down the engines. Uh, actually, let's see if we can do each one individually. Left engine shut down. Right engine shut down. Lights up. Our electronics off. Let's take a peek. Oh, I did. Oh, I shredded the front. I shredded the front tire again. <laughs> Maybe that is what that parachute is for. I would have to like really bring her in there easy and slow, probably, to be able to get away with just jamming on the brakes for that. Anyway, that was rockets and cannons in the SU-25. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Got some value out of that. That was fun for me. I feel like I'm learning a lot about this. We'll do the next one. I'll jump in and I'll do um, unguided bombs is probably going to be the next one I'm going to take out with this. If you guys didn't see my first video from DCS, uh, go take a look at that. And I'm looking forward to getting into some missions at some point too. So, so yeah, we'll check that out. If you guys enjoyed that video, leave me a like. If you didn't, leave me a dislike. And subscribe if you want to become a minion. Hang around and see more videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.